Hi friends, it's Miss Pam from Lawrence Branch. I'm here today to show you how to make this really pretty dream catcher. Now dream catchers come from the Native Americans. They believe that if you hung a dream catcher by your bed, it will catch all your bad dreams so you would only have good dreams. So after we're all done with this, we have to hang these in our room, okay? And hang them right by your bed. All right. Now, they're very simple to make. What you need is you need a paper plate, you need scissors, a hole punch, yarn, and I have beads, like pony beads. These. To decorate it with. If you have different kind of beads, that's great. And also, if you have markers, you could uh, color it in after. So, first thing you're going to do, now you probably want your parents to do this part, is you want to take the paper plate and you want to cut a hole in it. So you have to kind of stab the paper plate so you can get a hole in it. And then you want to cut it. You want to cut the center out. So this is the part um, probably parents should do. Okay. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle. So, like that. All right, perfect. Now take your hole puncher and you want to punch holes all around it. You don't want too many holes unless you want to, because you're going to be weaving in and out of it. So if you put too many holes, it it's just, it'll be a lot more work. So I did not put as many holes in. Now, what you need to do is you need to figure out which one you want for your front and which one you want for your back. I'm going to use this side as my front because I don't think this side's very pretty. So, and then this way we could always decorate it later. All right, so now you have your plate ready. Now what you want to do is you want to get yarn. What I did was I took about one arm length's worth of yarn. Like, so I just stretched out one arm length. And um, I took tape. And if you take a little piece of tape and tape it to the end, it'll help make it easier to go in and out of the different holes. Because you want to just wrap it around. See? Like that. Okay. Now, you want to start from the back. Now, I said this is my front, this is my back. So I'm going to start from the back. You know, poke it through. I'm going to pull it through until it's almost all the way out. And then you're going to take a piece of scotch tape, or any tape, it doesn't matter which kind of tape, and you want to tape this part here, because you have this little piece, you want to tape that to the inside of the plate, so now it won't come out. All right, so now you're going to take it, and you're going to just go from different loops, from loop to loop, I mean from hole to hole, and that now if you want you can add like a bead in there and if you want to if you want the bead to stay in the middle like instead of falling down you can always wrap uh, you put the bead on and then you go back through the bead see how I'm doing that here and it holds the bead in place see, like that okay so then you want to make sure you go through at least every hole at least once all right this one here Put another bead on, put a black one on. Okay, I'm gonna wrap it around, so I'm gonna go through the bead again. Let's see. And it's much easier to do this with the tape around the edge of the, the yarn also. See, now that one's staying in place. Put 
purple bead on this time. Again, I'm going to go wrap it around so it goes so it stays in the center. All right, and then. hole. Now once you're there you want to put a little piece of tape on it so it stays in place. There. All right. So you can see we got every each every every hole. Now what you want to do is I got to make the little little uh, hanging part I took three pieces of yarn, about six inches, and I'm going to tape them to the plate. You want to again tape it to the the part you want on the back. So this one here, because again this is my back. Okay. So now I have three strings, and I'm just going to put different beads on, different colors. And then when you have as many as you want, I'm just going to put three on here. You just want to tie it into a little knot. Make sure you do a double knot so it doesn't come out. That's what I'm doing. Okay, and then you want to cut off the little extra edge. All right. You want to do that to the other two. And again, you want to tie it into a knot. Cut the little end off. And do it to my last one. And if you notice your string is getting um, very frayed, you can always put a little piece of tape on like we did before, or you can always fold it in half and kind of twist it. You just want to make it thin enough just so it goes through the hole and you can pull it through. And then again, tie a little knot. Cut off the edge. All right. Now, I have one last piece of string which I am going to put onto the top so we can hang it. Alright, there we go. Now, if you have markers, you can always color the back. You could do whatever you want with it. Um, if you have more color yarn, you could put more yarn on it. You could do less yarn. You could do less holes, more holes, more beads. If you have other kind of um, anything with holes in them, like sometimes you have seashells that have little holes in them or feathers, you can always hang those from it. Um, whatever you want to do, you can do whatever you like. It, it's yours so make it as individual as you are so and then when you're all done make sure you hang it in your room so
and everyone will have great dreams. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope everyone's being safe. I really miss you guys, and I really hope to see everyone real soon. All right? Um, I'll talk to you later. Bye.